YouTube. What's good, guys? It's your boy T. And I'm back again with another video from Fantasy Good Sports, guys. And today's video is going to be on five wide receivers that you should be picking up off your waivers for week 14. So, guys, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel. I'm not going to hold you up. Make sure you have a blessed morning. So, let's begin with no further ado. All right, guys, the first guy that I think you should be picking up off waivers if he's on your waivers, right, is Elijah Moore. And listen, guys, if you have another guy that I don't mention, make sure you go and, and spam the chat and say, TD, what about this guy to help out the community? And make sure you put the 100 symbol to show support, guys. But anyway, Elijah Moore from the Cleveland Browns. Listen, we know that Joe Flacco and Elijah Moore are buddies. They both spoke glaringly about each other. So with Amore Cooper having an injury, I believe Elijah Moore could be hyper-targeted, which he was last week. I think he had about 8 to 10 targets. And he didn't catch a lot of them, but that doesn't matter. Remember, King, volume is king, right? When it comes to fantasy, when we're trying to find sleepers and waiver wire additions, not just studs, right? So, guys, I like Elijah Moore. Moving on to my second guy is Jonathan Domingo. And then I mentioned him last week as one of my five waiver wire ads for wide receivers. I said that they, by the coaches getting fired, that they was going to put this rookie out there, and they did. Guys, he got about eight to ten targets. So, play Jonathan Domingo if you need him as a flex play, and definitely stash him if you're already going to your playoffs or whatever you may need. Just make sure you pick up this guy. He should not be on your waivers. Next is Jaden Reed from the Green Bay Packers. Yes, guys, Jaden Reed from the Green Bay Packers. Listen, I think Christian Watson is probably going to be out for a couple of weeks. I hate to say it. I love Christian Watson. I've been stashing him the whole season, even though he played bad. But with having a bad season per se, not playing bad, but a bad season, um, I think Jaden Reed is going to be the next guy up. It's going to be a Romeo Dobbs and Jaden Reed. And here's a, that's a little caveat. That's a bonus guy. Romeo Dobbs, you can pick him up if he's on your waiver, especially with Christian Watson going out. But I think Jaden Reed is going to be the number one guy that I'm willing to go to. He gets the same type of in the rounds and hybrid manufactured targets that Christian Watson gets. So you can pick up Jaden Reed. Also, he's really good in the, in the slot. He can also play outside. He did it in college at Michigan State. So pick up Jaden Reed. Moving on, I got two more guys for you guys. The next guy is Jalen Hyatt from the New York Giants. Now, listen, I don't know what's going to happen between Tyrod Taylor or Tommy DeVito. Either one has always hyper-targeted Jalen Hyatt. Now, when um, Ty Tyrod Taylor, we see a couple good games from um, Hyatt before Tyrod Taylor went down, and then Daniel Jones came back. And with Tommy DeVito, he was pushing the ball downfield to Jalen Hyatt. Jalen Hyatt was, what, the top 24 wide receiver a couple weeks ago before the bye week. So, guys, I like Jalen Hyatt. He's a boom guy. Those are those are the type of guys that you put in your flex, and you can boom and win your fantasy football week or go to the playoff. I mean, go to the championship. So, I like Jalen Hyatt. Last but not least, guys, this might be a little controversial, is Darnell Mooney. Yes, guys, Darnell Mooney. Now, listen, I believe they play in Detroit. If I'm wrong, guys, um, I apologize, but I believe they're playing Detroit this week. And Detroit has a weak secondary. I'm not saying they weak, but they're just not that good. That's how you expose Detroit. I believe Donnell Mooney can get behind Branch. He can get behind some of these safeties. So, guys, I like playing Donnell Mooney as a sleeper play or picking this guy up off waivers and stashing him. Yes, DJ Moore is the number one, but the number two is Donnell Mooney. Then it goes to Cole Komet as the tight end. Then it goes to passing the ball to Roshan Johnson. So I believe that the way that Justin feels like distributing the ball fits Darnell Mooney as the number two guy on this offense. So guys, make sure you pick up Darnell Mooney. So guys, I'm not going to hold you up. I just wanted to give you my quick waiver wire top five wide receivers that you should be picking up off the waivers, guys. Y'all be safe. Have a good morning. Peace.